Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is November 14th. We've got some exciting stuff today. So you're getting a new manure pump. I think I said this, uh, talked about this in the past. We actually have a eight, we have eight foot pits, but our new barn, and it, our new barn is a 10 foot pit. So we need a longer pump though. So, and uh, so we're getting a 10 foot. It also has an extension, so like, we could also use an eight foot pit. It, there's like a two point extension on it. And uh, it's kind of hard to describe, I'll show you. But the reason there's a two point extension on it is because if you're gonna use an eight foot pit, if there wouldn't be an extension, that PTO shaft would be at a hard angle and there's an extension. So it's not as, as at, so it's not at, at, at a, such a hard angle, if that makes any sense. Um, He'll be here in about an hour with it. I'm gonna uh, clean out this weaning barn pen. We moved 20 yesterday out of the weaning barn, and only 10 out of the hutches. So I'm gonna clean the rest of this other pen out here, and back and up to it. And uh, in about an hour, he'll be here with the new pump. Hey, ladies. Got all my spills cleaned up. I had a spill on this side that I had to clean up, but yeah, she full. I mean, kind of full. I've seen fuller loads. Unloading. All right, squeezed it in there between the tractor and spreader and yeah, it's a full shit. Uh, full shed of deers it's a beautiful sight still 10 10 minutes yet until he's supposed to be here so in the meantime i'm going to put shavings in the new hutches here and yes there's lime in that shape in those shavings so i know that was a question in videos back i don't know how many back but yeah time to grab the woodchuck and woodchucks Quick chuck of my wood. I think I saw it. I think I saw the truck. I hear a truck. Oh boy, this is so exciting. Even though it's just a new manure pump. There it is. All right. Let's just set it down and I'll rehook put these on. Put it wherever you want to go. November 17th and it's a Thursday we're like oh so busy that we had to go to an open house and uh, get some free food 
Um, my dad, I went with my dad, he ran to get a uh, seal, right? Uh, we have a, a seal one out on the front. Well, on the previous video, just came out last night actually, I had replaced the retaining washers, the washers that are used to retain the planetary gears. And uh, I would, I'm doing that job on the 270 now. And on the one side, the hub is leaking, was leaking on the inside. Uh, so while I tore it apart to replace those washers, it felt like it was a good time to replace that seal since I was most of the way apart anyhow. Yeah, so. so we went up to deer country and they have a seal driver that put the seal in just so. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. so pretty much we're stoning two birds at once. So. Yes. Yes. The birds have been stoned. We stoned three. We got meal too. Maybe that was one of them. I yeah, no, that, that counts. Three no. birds at once. All right, we're back in the shop here. Um, so we basically have this thing tore down about like the 260 was for a few weeks. Um, only we're not replacing the whole hub. Uh, we're just um, the the seal that that rides on that shoulder there uh, was leaking. And uh, it, well, that's why things are all wet here. Um, I was replacing the planetary gear retaining washers on this one, same as I did with the 285. And um, as Ashlyn explained, we're killing two birds with one stone or stoning two birds, or whatever. Um, I replaced the seal as well while I was in there. So, gonna go back together now. I'm gonna clean this up first. We ran up there quick over lunch and uh, stopped at another Skyview dealership for um, dinner or for lunch. So uh, got a full belly and feeling kind of lazy right now. So, All right, I'm gonna go get that hub or the backside of the hub and we're gonna try to slip that up on there. All right, I don't have it in place yet. It's a little cattywampus, but you guys are in the way here, so I'm gonna move you. <clears throat> okay, so I got, got the back side of the hub on and the ring gear here. This cog here is like a big, It's a. it threads into the Oh, inside of the axle housing, I guess. Um, and I used that to pull th things in the rest of the way. Uh, I got things snug and I'm still able to turn it, which is a good thing. It's a little snug, but that's what you want. Um, so the bearings should be seated up properly. I am going to, well, this little hole here is like a, for a set screw. I'm not sure if that's the proper term, but it's what keeps things set from moving um, and then the planetary gear we'll slide that in there whoa almost lost my balance there's a there we go and then there's a uh, bolt with a washer that I'll put on there put need to put some loctite in both those bolts so once I have them on I'll be back to where I was before I got distracted from that leaky seal. And uh, I'll put the rest of the hub together like I did for the 285. Um, I won't bore you with that, but uh, and then I'll do the other side. The other side, the seal's not leaking, so that's a good thing. Um, hopefully when I pull it apart, everything will be good inside. So, all right, I don't know what mix Ashlyn will put this in, but um, that's just another day in the life of a dairy farmer that works in the shop. So, in the winter, he said, when we're not deer hunting. So, Ashlyn's in there detailing the cab uh, for Mitch. So, all right. Take care. God bless.